Why on earth would I switch out my Patagonia Torrent Shell rain jacket which cost over a hundred quid for this cheap flappy bit of rain gear? Well in this video I'm going to tell you exactly why it's such a weird and wonderful bit of kit. Let's go! <laughs> Hello fellow hiker and world traveller Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. In this video I'm going to be going over some of the specs and the features as well as going really deep into the materials that this rain gear is made out of as well as some of the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like so much. Okay so this is the Frog Togs ultralight rain suit. I've taken it to Snowdonia on some really wet wild and windy weekends and I have to say I'm really impressed. You will find a link in the description below to where you can buy this rain suit as well as all of the other gear that I currently use in a long list so do go check that out. This entire rain suit which is top and bottom cost me just 18 quid on Amazon. It was so dirt cheap. It comes in this cool little dry bag slash stuff sack, I'm not really sure what to call it. Uh, and it comes really neatly packaged. It's got these two little poppers on the top and this is basically what it looks like once it's all kind of packed in. I mean, the value for money for this is incredible and I will touch on that a little bit later, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what it looks like when it's all folded up and it packs down really small. Okay, so that's pricing and a few other bits out of the way, let's talk about some of the specs. The entire set, which is top and bottom, weighs in at 295 grams, which is just 10.4 ounces. So this rain suit is insanely light, it packs down really small, uh, uh, for its price, it's just incredible. Uh, so it's perfect for through hiking and long distance trekking and backpacking. They're made of a breathable, non-woven polypropylene material uh, on the inside and the outside. So it makes it extremely waterproof whilst keeping it light. But this is exactly why this thing is so weird because it's made out of what feels like a disposable kind of tissue. This polypropylene material on the inside is basically the, the kind of fiber version. And it looks like the kind of tissue paper that you'd get in a hospital or something. It's just so bizarre. I've never seen a rain jacket made out like of anything like this. It's like a tissue paper or something like that. It's just so weird. I mean, on the inside, it's kind of furry and really soft to the touch. So you know this is gonna be breathable. You know that it's gonna really wick off the sweat. It's gonna soak up all the moisture from your body as you're walking. Uh, but on the outside, it's made of a polypropylene film, which is a kind of, it's kind of like a laminate fabric or it's like the coating that they put on top of it. And that's what makes it waterproof. That's what makes this entire rain suit work and it keeps you dry, keeps your skin breathing. Uh, it's a really cool material, very odd, very cheap looking, but yeah, uh, that's materials. I got this entire set in a medium, so on the jacket it's a 51 to 54 inch chest and waist on the jacket, and on the sleeve it's a 36 to 37 inch. I've heard of some people actually getting the entire set in the largest set that they could find, just so it gives them a lot more coverage uh, and a lot more breathability, but I got this in a medium just because I knew that that's kind of what my size would be and it's really worked out really well. I mean, it's still very baggy. It's still a very kind of airy piece of kit. But yeah, I got this in a medium, fits me well. Yeah, you could go for the larger size like the other guys did. Uh, but really, I don't think there's any need. If you get the right size for you, it will just save weight and save space in your pack. So uh, you're not carrying around something that's larger than it needs to be. Okay, so that's some of the specs. Let's go over to some of the features. This is gonna be really quick. This entire rain suit is so simple. The Frog Togs UL rain suit comes completely seam sealed. On their website, they call it welded. And I think that's because what they've basically done with the seams here is that they've sewn them on the outside and then they've pinched the two pieces of fabric together and then glued it on the inside there. So I think I think that's what the welded part means. Uh, it's a really interesting way to do it. They don't actually use the tape that you would usually see in this kind of rain gear. My Patagonia Torrent Shell rain jacket actually has a tape that goes along the inside, uh, which is really neat and tidy. But these are just really quickly done and it really does keep the water out. Another thing that this jacket has is it has this kind of like reinforcing little sticker that's on there. I don't really know what that's made out of. It looks like a nylon. I think it's just stuck there for a little bit of reinforcing on the join. I think it's either on or over your armpit area uh, just to stop some abrasion kind of making this come loose. So a nice little design, a uh, bit of thought put into that, bit of engineering so it stops this entire thing falling to bits. The jacket's got elastic cuffs on the wrist so it really does a good job of keeping the water out. It's actually a very good fit around the wrists. Uh, there's no flapping around, uh, so drafts can't get up your sleeve, water can't get up your sleeve. Uh, it's really simple, very cheap, and it does the job. It's actually got an adjustable hood, so if I put this on, which is, so you can see me actually wearing this thing. I don't know why I didn't put this on in the beginning of the video to show you guys the full effect and style 
that this jacket has. It's just incredible. This thing is just so beautifully put together. It should be on the catwalk. There you go. So this does actually have an entire hood fully attached to the torso. And it also comes with these adjustable line locks uh, so that you can really cinch it to your face. I mean, this thing actually goes right up as far as I can take it. So, I mean, you wouldn't actually wear it this far on the trail because you probably couldn't see where you're going. But in really bad downpours, you can actually put this right over your forehead, right over your eyes. And if you really wanted to, you could just kind of shut your entire face out. And just, let's give it a go. So that all you're left with is a little hole to see out of. Pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> and one of the best things about this jacket it's probably the zipper because actually, compared to my Torrent Shower rain jacket, this zipper actually hasn't failed on me once. Um, I've used this a few times, I've put the zipper in, I've put them together, and I've got the little tab, pulled the zipper up, and it hasn't got caught, which is just phenomenal for me. That really solves a massive issue that I had with my last jacket. Uh, I really hate it when the zippers get caught. I don't know why they design these things in such a way that these zippers get caught, but this one actually seems to run really freely, which is really good. Well, that's about it for the jacket. And as for the trousers, it's even more dead simple. It's just a pair of really baggy trousers with an elasticated waist. The uh, cuffs on the trousers aren't actually elasticated, uh, but that will stop the rain actually running off into your shoes and socks. So that's really good. They actually cover the entirety of your shoes. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a pair of trousers dead simple, it's almost like wearing a plastic bag. Overall, the entire Frog Togs rain suit is an incredibly baggy fit, but I think that's one of the reasons why it's so breathable and so comfortable to wear. They look incredibly silly, but I think that's all part of the fun of getting out there, putting your rain gear on, getting out, splashing in some puddles, and having a really good day. Okay, so now we've talked about some of the specs and the features, let's go over some of the things that I really love about the Frog Togs Ultralight rain suit. The first reason why I love this rain suit has to be the value for money. I mean, for 18 quid, you get a top and a bottom, a fully functioning rain suit with a jacket and trousers. It does the job, it does what it says on the tin. Uh, I really can't fault the price. Uh, it goes up in price on Amazon and on their website to about $25. Uh, maybe sometimes on Amazon UK, it goes up to like 20 pounds. But still, it's incredibly cheap and compared to what I've already used, 110 pounds versus 18 pounds. For the whole thing, you can't go wrong. I think it is literally the single most and cheapest form of rain gear that ultralight backpackers and through hikers use. Uh, I've seen so many people in their videos using it. I just had to try it out myself. The second reason has to be how light and packable the material is. I mean, you put it into the little stuff sack and it's pretty much almost the same size as my torrent shell rain jacket uh, when that's pushed up into its own little pouch which is inside its pocket. And that's just the jacket. This is an entire suit and it's almost the exact same size. It's a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible how much you can actually fit into a small space. Also at 295 grams, the entire set weighs 50 grams less than just the jacket on the torrent shell. So it's lighter and you get more for your money. The third reason why I love this rain suit so much is because it does exactly what it says it will do on the tin and it does it very well. I was in Snowdonia uh, for a couple of weekends when I was really trying this out and it was in really wet, really windy conditions. It kept me dry, uh, it kept the wind off. Um, I wasn't sweating my butt off inside and condensation wasn't building up on the inside because of the type of fabric that it's made out of. So yeah, a really good thumbs up on that. Okay, so now we've talked about some of the things that I really liked. Let's talk about some of the things that I didn't like so much about this rain suit. Okay, so this isn't really uh, so much a bad thing, but more of a suggestion. So I really wish that they actually had some pockets on these things. I know they've left them out probably to keep it more waterproof, but just one zippy pocket maybe on the trousers or on the right hand side of the jacket would have been fantastic. Just so I could put something in it. I, I don't know, I mean, I'm wearing this entire layer. It's always good to have at least one pocket so you can put something really random in there like a snack or uh, something valuable so that it's always on you, I don't know. Just one pocket would have been really good. Another thing that I wish they'd included would definitely be line lock adjusters on the waist of the jacket. I mean, while I'm wearing the jacket and I've got my hip belt on and my backpack, it kind of splays out the waist of the jacket and it starts kind of collecting water and it starts riding up the uh, hip belt on the inside and I have to kind of keep adjusting it and pulling it down. So uh, waist adjustment would have been a very good plus two. The final thing, which is more of a trade-off for the price and the weight uh, and the value, is basically the material that they're made out of isn't very durable at all. If you're going on a through hike 
uh, something that's more than a few months long. I expect to be switching these out quite regularly and ordering a few and getting them bounced ahead of you so that you can pick them up because these things are going to tear, they're not very durable, they're not going to last as long as say the Patagonia Torrent Shell rain jacket that I've owned but for value for money, the weight saving, what you get, you get the top and bottom in the little pouch, it packs down really small, it's a real big trade off and I think it's totally worth it uh, and I'll definitely be buying more as and when I really need to. I mean, as soon as I start getting holes in this thing and it starts to fray, I'll let you guys know. I haven't taken these out for long enough and I haven't put many miles on these, so when I do, say six months to a year down the line, if I've still got the same pair, I'll show you exactly how these things fared up and show you the wear and tear at another date. Okay, so campfire question, what rain gear do you own and why? Let the trail hunter community know in the comments section below. We would absolutely love to hear from you and let us know how you get on with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.